Hey beauties! So today we are going to be doing a glam summer makeup look. And first we are going to start out with our eyebrows. I usually skip this part but somebody complained and I'm sorry. So uh, I'm using the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade in light brown. Absolutely love this stuff and it is so affordable you guys. You should totally try it if you are in the market for a new brow product. Then we're going to clean up these suckers. I'm just going to use the same thing that I always use and that is the uh, matte Studio Concealer in NW25 and I'm just cleaning up those bad boys. Then we're going to lock them in place. That way they're not flying around in that hot heat. I'm going to also be using tape for my eyes. It just makes it so much easier. And then we're going in with this Milani 12 hour pencil. And this is in the color Espresso Line. Now, if you are going to be using this for the first time, I would suggest using a different kind of pencil because this seriously locks in and it's kind of hard to blend out. And this is my very first time trying a cut crease look. So yeah note to self use one that's really creamy and uh, easy to blend out this one is creamy but it once it's on there it stays and it's really hard to blend out and then I take the makeup geek shadow in frappe and mocha and I basically just blend it out to make sure that it's uh, nicely blended out with that deep dark line you know how cut crease usually are don't they look like brows that's funny for eyebrows but then we're gonna clean up that line that way it's nice and hard and I'm again using the uh, same MAC Studio Concealer in NW25 and we are just going to put that all over our lid. Of course you don't have to use concealer, you can use anything else, another shadow stick of some kind. Just basically use it to clean up that portion. Then I'm taking this uh, Makeup Forever palette, I think it's the Artist One, and I'm taking that lightest shimmery color and putting it in the inner corner. Then I'm taking ColourPop's Kathleen Lights and putting that all over the lid. This is such a beautiful color for the summertime and I just thought it would look so lovely with this look so I decided to use that. And I love Kathleen so <laughs> had to use it. <laughs> then we are going to line our eyes. I'm using the Kat Von D liner in Trooper and this just is such an easy tool to use if you want to have the most perfect little flick on the end. So that is what I did. Then I tight line with the It Cosmetics gel liner pencil and then we take the tape off to reveal this crazy looking eyeshadow look. <laughs> and I just go in and make sure everything looks good and and I go in there a few times just to blend everything out and make sure everything looks nice and clean. And then we're going in with that light color from the Makeup Forever palette again and going on our brow bone. And then I just wanted to extend the tail out a little bit because it looked crazy. And then again, going back in, cleaning up, adding on. And now moving on to our skin, I'm going to prime my face and I used a Murad primer. Then the L'Oreal Infallible, which is fabulous. It makes my face so, so matte. And I mix two colors because I'm really dark right now and yes that is what I have to do to get my color basically I just have to customize my own and then I just use the dampen beauty blender to blend it all out along with my under eyes I use the bye bye under eye concealer in tan just blend that out I absolutely love this stuff and for the next step I actually uh, set it for the very first time using the Laura Mercier translucent powder which holy cow I absolutely loved it I didn't think I would because it's not yellow you know but it was nice that it wasn't yellow it set so pretty isn't that nice and then I use the it Cosmetics CC powder which oh my gosh I've been loving all these it cosmetics uh, products but the CC plus powder has been awesome and then this is the contour palette from it cosmetics it's the my sculpted face and and uh, that is what I warmed my face up with and contoured my nose with. I just, it's been what I've reaching for lately. <laughs> it's awesome. And then, uh, of course, blend that out. Next, I'm going to be doing my cheeks, and I'm using Milani's Luminoso. This is one of my favorite blushes for the summertime. It's such a nice uh, coral color, and it has a little bit, or shimmer to it. Not a little bit of shimmer, but it's pretty shimmery, but it's beautiful. It's like glowy shimmery. Uh, anyways, then contoured a little bit more. And then Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it looks on my skin. It's so glowy and fabulous and just, oh, I love it, love it, love it. And then again, cleaning up my under eyes and whatnot. And then going in with Frappe again and going on my lower lash line and then uh, Mocha in the outer corner just to deepen it. 
then we are going in back in with Kathleen lights and then highlighting the inner corner with that and then one more time in the makeup forever artist palette to go in the inner inner corner of our eyes and then I'm tight lining with Rimmel's nude liner just to make our eyes pop and then finishing it off with lower lash mascara all right and last but not least for the lips I use ColourPop's ultra matte lip in Pacific. This is such a neon orange color. It's like chapeau in your face and I just wanted to do something like that for a glamorous summer look and yes, that is what it looked like. I absolutely love the way that it came out. Did you guys like it? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you did. I had so much fun filming this and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Take me Bye. Up, take me higher. There's a one